वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाया टैरो एंड दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग सो टेक अ डी ब्रेथ सिलेक्ट योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन वेलकम पायल नंबर वन दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट द रीडिंग विद द ओवरऑल एनर्जी कार्ड फॉर द वीक योर ओवरऑल एनर्जी कार्ड फॉर द वीक इज द स्टॉक so this is the card that tells you that this will be a week for new beginnings and there will be opportunities coming your way transformation or transit is also indicated there you can definitely travel for work or any other matter there will be a very momentous situation happening in this week probably for some of you there will be announce announcements of some sort that can definitely be a pregnancy announcement also and this is going to be a very balanced week overall so let's begin the reading with your tarot cards then we will follow the oracle cards your first card from tarot is the king of wands next you've got the ace of coins then you've got the four of coins the next card is nine of cups then you've got the hanged man and the final card for you is the world card so pile number 1 so far your tarot spread is looking really good the king of wand is wand is telling me that you will be in a very powerful and strong situation throughout the week where you will be inspiring people and you will be very passionate about your work your life situation and loved ones and you are someone very grounded and well balanced in your energy so that's really good the next card is the ace of coins that is the inner arcana representation of the sun card so definitely there will be blessings and good fortune coming your way and opportunities will be there you will be finding yourself in a very beautiful situation in the matter of wealth also the next card is the four of coins this is again the card that indicates about financial securities but this card also indicates about you being rigid about something inside your mind so you need to let go of those kind of rigidities because that blocks our energy to bloom and prosper the next card is for you is 9 of cups this is the card that tells you found you finding good fortune or wish fulfillment happening in your life good times with family friends gathering meetings happening also that will be beneficial for you in the long run the next card is the hanged man this is the card the major arcana that tells about you taking time off for connecting to the divine or source by meditating praying grounding or just simply contemplating on the things and changing your point of view regarding situation to understand things better the final card for you is the world card this is the card that tells about you finding good fortune and good luck happening in your life for really beautiful energies and this is the card that also tells about some kind of ending and new beginnings so there will be definitely successful endings and some new beginnings that will bring success in your life in this week for you pile number 1 so these were your tarot guidance let's see what we have for you from the oracle cards your first card is fire dragon next you have storm warning then you have cleansing body and spirit the next card is honesty
and the final card is meditation so pile number one your first card is the fire dragon card this is the card that tells about you finding very much enthusiastic and energetic self towards anything in this week for you there will be good luck good fortune happening for you for sure and you will definitely be in the leadership role as there was the king of wands and this fire dragon is confirming that energy that the wand energy is going to rule the situation you will be leading and definitely your leadership will be will be beneficial for other people as well as yourself too the next card is the storm warning card this is the card that gives me the energy that you are going to get prepared for something big that might not be so pleasant or peaceful but you have the time at this point of time because this is storm warning so you are warned at this point of time to be ready and to be ready energetically you need to definitely cleanse your body and spirit that's why you need to take some time off and contemplate on the things and this will definitely benefit you in the long run or in the upcoming obstacles or situation that might need your focus the next card is the honesty and the honesty card says honesty will be ultimately be rewarded you will definitely be rewarded for your truthfulness and you need to be truthful towards your authentic self at any point of time in this week the final card is for you archangel josephus blessings of meditation you need to definitely pray meditate and find your answers within for sure and that is the final guidance for you so pile number one this was your next seven days energy guidance messages reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead welcome pile number two this is your next seven days energy guidance messages reading pick a card so let's see what we have for you in the overall energy card for the week your overall energy card for the week is the mountain card this is the card that tells about there will be some challenges that you need to overcome in this week and that is the main energy you will definitely be following some goal or ambitions and that is a long way for you but you are very determined to overcome those obstacles in the path to achieve your goals and that's really good for you and this is going to be something that will be the main theme for you in this week you will be very much willing to overcome all the blockages obstacles delays in this week regarding some very important matter so let's begin your tarot reading then we will follow the oracle cards your first card is six of cups next you have six of swords then you have the chariot the major arcana you've got an extra card here and that is the nine of cups from the other deck the first card is the star card then comes the hierophant and the final card is the seven of cups so pile number two your first card is six of cups this is the card that talks about second chances something coming back that can definitely be something in love coming back to your life to give you your heart's content or this can be some opportunities or creative projects that you thought you have lost but you are getting the second chance in them the next card is the six of swords this is the card that tells you founding 
sorry, you finding new ways to be in a very pleasant or comfortable situation, whatever was going on or troubling you. Now things are looking good for you and there are ways for you to transform your reality into a better one. The very next card to the Six of Swords is the Major Arcana, the Chariot. This is the card that is giving me the strong vibe of fast movement towards the progress of your goals and prosperity and you are definitely moving strongly towards your success. The next card is Nine of Cups so definitely there will be wish fulfillment, good times with family. There will be some kind of meeting happening that will give you the success in the long run for sure. And the next card from the other deck is the star card. Again, the assurance of wish fulfillment or probably another wish will come true for you for sure. And healing will be there also if there was any kind of unresolved situation that was in your subconscious or in your mind for a long time you might be able to letting that go and heal yourself the next card is the hierophant this is the card of finding greater knowledge some of you might be definitely going for higher studies for others this is the card that indicates you are going to be in a spiritual journey where you will find your soul path to reach to your higher self and this card also indicates finding something better in work situations and that will definitely come from you with new and better ideas the next card Pardon me, this card also indicate about committed relationship for some of you that can also be happening because the first card in the tarot was six of cups and that indicates a person coming into your life with whom you might be connected in the past life or in this life in the previous times. So there can be a love situation also coming to a committed relationship. The next card is the Seven of Cups. This is the card that is giving me the energy that there will be opportunities coming your way and you need to definitely decide upon them because you cannot choose everything. And at this point of time, you have to make a decision and you need to definitely follow your wisdom regarding the situation and definitely you have to follow your heart heart's desire too so pile number two this was your weekly tarot guidance now let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards your first card is warren Next, you have walking away. Then you have meditation to dig deep. Your next card is rainbow. And the final card is the wisdom. So, Pile number two. Your first oracle card is Warren. This is the card that tells about you appreciating goodness in everything and you practicing gratitude and being prepared for everything that comes in your path. The next card is Walking Away. This is the card that tells me that at this point of time you are moving forward and not being stuck. You have your wish fulfillment and you are moving forward with it. You are not stuck. You are definitely healed from whatever was keeping you stuck. And now is the time for your transformation towards your better reality. The next card is meditation to dig deep. 
this is the card that is telling me if you need any kind of guidance or answers you definitely need to meditate pray and connect to the divine to get the nudges and the ideas and the answers and that is definitely something you need to do at this point of time the next card is rain rainbow the rainbow card says there is a rainbow beyond the clouds as you can see there is a clouded situation in this card and this card says there is a rainbow beyond the clouds so if there is some kind of situation that might feel you can see there are clouds in this one also so if there is something that is feeling like an obstacle at this point of time you need to definitely have faith that there will be a rainbow beyond it let the cloud pass or let the storm pass and you will see it and there will be good things because this challenge or this situation that is seeming that it might be a little bit difficult is going to bring you the opportunity to understand things and grow into your better self for sure there are some learnings that come with the challenges maybe this is the situation that will bring you the wisdom the blessing of wisdom from archangel metatron and this is the wisdom that you need to learn at this point of time through the lessons from this obstacle or the difficulties or the situation that might come with those clouds and you will definitely become your better self this is why if you need the answers you need to definitely pray and meditate to understand the situations better in this week so pile number 2 this was your next 7 days pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead welcome pile number 3 this is your next 7 days pick a card reading Let's see what we have for you in the overall energy card. This is the card that is the sickle. This is the card that tells about the harvest or the fruition of your laborer's hard work and this is really good to have in the first card. This card also indicates you moving forward cutting off the ties from something toxic. This is card this card is also a card that indicates about you need your need to be alert of some kind of danger or sudden accidents and this is the card that is also saying that if there is some kind of rejection or separation happening that can definitely be upsetting you it is for your own good so let's start the reading from the tarot then we will follow the oracle cards pile number 3 your first card is the 3 of coins next you have the 7 of swords then you have the 3 of cups from the other deck you have 5 of swords next you have the page of wands next you have the king of swords sorry and the final card is the 8 of swords so pile number 3 Your first card is the three of coins. This is the card that tells you laying foundation of some situation that can definitely be beneficial for you in the long run financially or very stable situation is going to happen for you in the future if you are starting something new. 
the next card is the seven of swords this is the card that was indicated in the first card some sort of sabotage or danger probably happening or a rejection that is going to be troubling you so definitely beware if this is a self-sabotage situation definitely you need to be in a balanced energy and you are not at this point of time for that you need to understand you deserve best and you are able to do anything that you can and will put your mind to so don't feel the energy of lack and follow it you just need to grow towards your happiness because the next card is the three of cups this is the card that tells about gathering and enjoying good times with family and friends so there will be love from your friends and family the support that you need at this point of time and you don't need to be worried about anything if you understand the situation better the next card is the five of swords so there will be people who might not be agreeing with you at this point of time because they don't understand your vision or view or your path of following the truth but you are on the right path and you are moving forward that's why they are not crossing your path and not stopping you you are moving forward the next card is the page of wands card this is the card that tells me that you need to definitely learn more about the situation and you need to grow in your knowledge and wisdom you will be very much enthusiastic but you need to be persistent about it also the next card is the king of swords this is the card that tells about you having great communication skills and information gathering information towards something that is important and you finding higher knowledge about something or going for higher studies and definitely moving forward but the next card is the eight of swords and this is the extra card that you have this is the card that is giving me the energy of you fearing something too much probably the situation is not that big and you fearing it or thinking that you are not good enough to handle it is keeping you in the lack or sabotage energy that you need to let go probably that's why the seven of swords and eight of swords came for you again to get out of that situation because both of them are swords cards you need to definitely have more knowledge about them for that you can definitely rely on good communication with friends and family with some kind of mentor that will who will help you or finding more information and studying about that matter that you are fearing at this point of time will definitely help you so let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards your first card is the ram the next card is sixth chakra archangel metatron next card is change and progress then you have prompting and your final card is patience so pile number three your first card is the ram this is the card that is giving me the energy of you be being in a very strong minded self of yours who is determined about some situation and you are standing your ground for sure at this point of time and there is no changing of your mind so far but this is the card that also gives the energy of you finding some kind of breakthrough and you achieving some better situation or goals because of your 
strong willed self and this is something that will definitely give you an advantage in this week there might be some situation where you need to definitely sacrifice or come to a balanced understanding or situation that was not present previously because if you were obsessing about something or there was any kind of imbalance in your energy you need to definitely balance that the next card is the sixth chakra of archangel metatron this is the card that tells you to find your mental clarity and clear vision for that, definitely, I was telling you, you need to let go of the fear and try to learn about things and definitely follow more information and communication with other people. And that will give you the advantage for sure. And the next card is the change and progress. So you being stuck won't help at any point of time you changing a with the situation will definitely give you the advantage of progress for sure the next card is prompting this is the card that tells about call a friend today so your friends and family is definitely there to help you you need to consult with them to get out of any kind of pickle if you face any the next card and the final card is the blessings of archangel michaels and you are blessed with patience so whatever is coming your way in this week you need to definitely follow the patience energy and that's how you are going to follow or you are going to solve the situation because being impatient might not serve you well because if you are patient then you can definitely focus on the matters in deep and understand so pile number three this was your next seven days energy guidance messages reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead so viewers, this was your next 7 days pick a card reading. If you like my reading, please hit the like button and help me grow in this channel and definitely provide you more. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great week ahead.